selection. It's the first first round selection of Sean McVay's tenure as the Rams <laughs> head coach. As a matter of fact, did he even know to come to the facility? The last they? first round <laughs> selection <laughs> made by the Rams was the guy who helped introduce the draft tonight in Jared Goff. That's the last first Man. round selection made by the Rams. And it wasn't made by McVay. Uh, uh, they... Ian Rappaport, you have the floor. Rich, I'll give you two quarterback items. First of all, we talked about the Michael Penix pick earlier. My understanding is the Falcons did call Kirk Cousins while they were on the clock to give him a small heads up that they were taking the quarterback. Meanwhile, talk about the Los Angeles Rams and their quarterback. My understanding is Matthew Stafford, while he has been in the building, does want an adjustment on his contract, does want more guaranteed money. Past this year, believes he has a lot left, a little bit of a lingering issue this offseason for the Rams, Kirk. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, he is their guy. He's the guy they're going to build around. I know there was some talk about them going to try to get the heir apparent, but uh, Matthew Stafford is that guy that believes he's still got a number of years left and still play at an extremely high level. They've got some really good pieces on the offensive side. Puka Nakua, kind of a steal last year in the fifth round. But I I'm thinking this time it's less about the offense. They'll so go get their quarterback done, and this is going to be more of a defensive move, guys. All right, so... There's the Rams house. Is that? I can't tell. Is that so far? Is that the, the, the spot where they're drafting? Oh, that's, that's, the beach. that's on the beach. That's the beach. That's at, at the oh, back of Rams well. house. I mean, because I, I was wondering when I saw them in that room, it looked a little austere for the Rams to be doing their picks, right? What Normally it looks a lot better than that. And there it is. What a flex. They're always flexing with their draft Rams house. Somebody that plays beach volleyball is complaining right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if that's Manhattan Beach, then they're definitely complaining. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. So the pick is in. The Rams are going to choose a first-round player for the first time since Jared Goff was selected in the first round by the Rams in 2016. And if it's a defensive player, it would be the first time they used a first-round pick on a defensive player since the recently retired Aaron Donald was selected in the first round of 2014. When, when, when I watched Illinois this year, Johnny Newton reminded me a little bit of, uh, listen, you don't want to compare him to Aaron Donald, but <laughs> you, not, yeah. you know what I'm Ca saying? I know the caveat. A vertical defensive tackle. Maybe they would go Johnny John. Newton here, but there's also a lot of good edge rushers, including you've got Jared Verse, you've got Chop Robinson. Like, there's good defensive players out there's there available. And there's only two of them left. That's right. In, in what we're talking in about, that, top in that level, top group. That could make that work for the Rams. Secondary, they kind of fortified in free agency. So I think where you're headed, Joel, is probably more in line with what we're talking about with the Rams. Well, I like Johnny Newton, but to me, there's a gap between Jared Verse, who's sitting up there. I mean, I have his, he's my 14th overall player. Johnny Newton is down there at 25. So for me personally, yeah. the value you're looking at edge rush as a premier player is still sitting on the board. And that's testament to 14 straight offensive players starting <laughs> yep, the draft. Right. They pushed all these guys that's down. They got pushed down, yep. so somebody's sitting there at 19 that – when they woke up in that beautiful spot, they didn't think they'd have a shot at one of some of these guys. That I mean, I wouldn't think they – do you think they thought that they were going to have a, a choice like a, a Verse or a Robinson? I, I, like, I, I think just they doubt did. that they feel like – I think they did, Joel, be, because they thought that the board would be manipulated that way and there would be an opportunity for one of those edge rushers. Mm. But I thought they would think of D-tackle as yeah, well. There you go. Okay, so the commissioner coming out with a Los Angeles Rams first-round selection, which is something he has not read since 2016, and it's the 2024 draft here in Detroit. I talked with a top-level NFL scout, former GM, and he said, that, hey, this kid had had the reputation of being, you know, kind of a you-know-what. So I asked him point blank, are you a new you-know-what, Jared Verse? And he said, I am on the practice field and on the game field. The rest of the time, I'm an okay guy. He knows how to turn it on. <laughs> That's right. Pick 20. Steelers already three and a half minutes into their clock time.